karma. Whoopi just got horrible news today after tirade on Judge Janine last week. As most everyone has heard by now, the extreme far leftist Whoopi Goldberg showed her true colors to the entire world last week as she completely lost her ever loving mind while she tried to debate Janine Pirro on The View. It's epic to watch, Pirro at one point during the interview told Whoopi the cold truth that she is suffering from Trump derangement syndrome. To which Whoopi responded by coming unraveled and started screaming at Pirro, which obviously proved the judge was correct about her initial comment about Whoopi's state of mind. But later it was reported that things didn't end there as they got much worse backstage. Fox News host Judge Janine Pirro confirmed yesterday on Sean Hannity's radio show that the Whoopi derangement didn't end on stage as the judge claims that backstage Goldberg got in her face and repeatedly screamed at her to get the FK out of this building. But over the weekend things have gotten even worse for Whoopi. Infowars is now reporting that over 130k people have signed the online petition to have her fired from The View. Over 100,000 people have signed a petition calling for Whoopi Goldberg to be fired from her job hosting The View on ABC after she blew up on Janine Pirro during a segment last week. The original petition called for 50,000 signatures in response to Whoopi allegedly screaming and spitting at Pirro. But that goal has been raised to 150,000 after an overwhelming turnout. Once completed, the petition papers will be sent to the front door of ABC Studios in Burbank, CA. Read the petition here. On Thursday, Whoopi Goldberg and Fox News host Judge Janine Pirro had a heated debate that took a dark turn after the cameras turned off. According to an interview with Judge Janine on Sean Hannity's radio program, Goldberg verbally harassed Pirro on her way out. Pirro said that Goldberg spit on her and said get the bleep out of here before ultimately exiting ABC Studios. If a conservative host would have acted in this manner, you can guarantee that they would have been fired on the spot. This petition is a direct message to ABC to fire liberal host Whoopi Goldberg for her disgusting way of treating Judge Janine. Once we hit our goal of 50,000 supporters, we will send this petition to the front door of ABC Studios in Burbank, California. Update, we have crushed through all of our goals so far and are now SG for 150,000. Add your name now to make your voice heard. This whole exchange makes me wonder if Disney will accept the way Whoopi acted towards the judge? Would they ever consider firing this woman? They fired Roseanne within hours of making a joke on Twitter on her own time. We will just have to wait and see. But my guess is we might be waiting a very long time since Disney is okay with pretty much anything liberals do just as long as they forward the agenda they are trying to promote. An agenda that's aligned with globalism and anything anti-family values and morals. After seeing who Whoopi Goldberg really is, I just have to ask one more important question to her former boyfriend Ted Danson, what in the world were you thinking man? Here is more on this feud via Fox News. The ongoing feud between Fox News host Judge Janine Pirro and The View co-host Whoopi Goldberg spilled into its second day on Friday, with each telling her version of Pirro's headline-grabbing appearance on the ABC News talk show. Pirro appeared on The View Thursday morning to promote her new book, Liars, Leakers, and Liberals, and the heated exchange occurred when the Fox News host accused Goldberg of suffering from Trump derangement syndrome. A visibly angry Goldberg ended the segment by shouting, Say goodbye. I'm done. A verbal disagreement occurred off camera following Pirro's appearance on the program. Pirro has appeared on both Hannity and Fox and Friends to tell her side of the story, while Goldberg offered her rebuttal at the opening of Friday's episode of The View. Pirro called the backstage altercation abuse. Goldberg has admitted to using profanity while also accusing Pirro of using inappropriate language, during the intense exchange. Pirro has denied doing anything to provoke the liberal panel before the chaos ensued, but Goldberg claims she was upset that CNN's Anna Navarro was a guest co-host, filling in for Joy Behar. Pirro didn't deny that she was peeved over the swap, but blamed ABC News for a lack of transparency. The view was disingenuous in not telling us who was hosting, Pirro told Fox News. They didn't tell anyone that one of the most rabid anti-Trump, anti-Fox people was going to be sitting next to me and interviewing me. 
Pirro said during her Fox & Friends appearance that an ABC News producer called her after the incident. Fox News has confirmed that ABC News attempted to speak with Pirro to no avail. I haven't had a chance to return the call, Pirro said. I've always liked you, Whoopi, and I don't understand where the anger comes from. I went to have a conversation and I wasn't allowed to have a conversation. I didn't deserve to be thrown out. We can't treat